Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the next stream in the series as we become a jar warrior. Uh, just going through here today. Yep, Death Counter's updated. Lovely. So I went back through the last VOD to check the deaths that I missed. There were seven deaths in the time when I was not paying attention and getting frustrated by that dungeon. So I have added those on in the background. So that's why we're up at 80 and not at like 74 or 75 or wherever we were at the end of the last stream. Um, so yeah, we are up there. We've got everything going. Let's check the bot. Hi, Bob. Oh, I was meant to do hi so that it would say hi, Bob. But there's that link anyway to the video to find out what that is. Wonderful. Okay, uh, we've got... So today, I don't have a plan for today. That's why, I, that's why I've said let's see what we get up to. Uh, there's a few things that I kind of want to do. I'm kind of hitting my head against a brick wall uh, with Moog here, so I'm going to try and level up. We're going to get some sacred tears and stuff, uh, level things up a bit. And yeah, then we're just going to wander around and try and do some stuff. I might go to the mountaintop of the giants if I'm feeling good enough. Uh, we're level 70, which is probably more than enough to go there. But with this weapon and this build, I kind of feel like I need to be higher. Uh, there's a point... There's a curve on a graph for this build, I feel like, and it will suddenly become great. <laughs> uh, right now, I'm feeling like I don't have enough stuff. And Danny's here, cooking sausages. Oh, mm. love me some good sausages. Uh, Loki, my favorite sausages, which is really random, but Kendo is in the party here. I don't know if he's in, in, in the stream listening, but Loki, my favorite sausages are... Um, uh, Tesco's finest with apple. I don't know how they do them. Pork and apple sausage. Uh, so good. Like the apple. Oh, so good. So juicy because the, the juices from the apple keep the sausage nice and juicy. Absolutely delicious. Love them. When Kendo was over recently uh, visiting, uh, I got him onto those. I think he liked them. Oh, chili sausages from Little are also whopper. I love this. We're starting the day talking about sausages. It's a good day. Uh, I'm gonna open up the party so the Ken is here as well. Welcome, Ken. I was just talking about sausages. If you weren't listening to the stream, and I, the I was Apple, listening. <laughs> the Tesco's finest. Oh, love them. Love yeah, they, they were they were they were good. Like I've had. Um... Yeah, Ruben knows. Yeah, <laughs> those pork and apple sausages are class. Thanks for the lyric, Ruben. Good see you. Um, I will cool. say though, as ah. good as those are, butchers, uh, oh, yeah. some butchers, like the one nearest to me, they do like really, really killer meats. So, oh, yeah. like they do sausages like that, they are. Oof, they hit the spot. So I decided. To... Oh, yeah, so last time I found out that the Jar Boys were not good. Sad times. Uh, I plus six them. Probably wasted it getting it to plus six. Cool, Ruben. If you are, maybe a little bit of deep rock galactic. Um, uh, the jar boys not good, very bad. They just run at things and unalive themselves, and they're even they're just so slow they can't even get there. So yeah, I was very disappointed by the jar boys. Um, is Oleg good, Ken? Uh, yeah, Oleg's great. Um. That's, that's the one that you get very early on, isn't it? Uh, I don't actually know. Banished Knight Oleg. I really yeah. don't know. Yeah, he has just run it. Oh remember. my goodness. <laughs> I've I not... put him on. I haven't plussed him though, so he's weak. Oh, yeah. Ken's on Dark Souls too, if you're wondering. So he's going to be flinching to that. Yeah, what? what tell us, Ken. <laughs> I've been... Spicy sausages. I haven't sat down and spoke to Melody yet and started doing game plus. So I can't level up. I'm like oh. halfway through the game, <laughs> I haven't spoke to her once. <laughs> Nice. Oh, you're back on Elden Ring. Yeah, I said I would come um, back over just now. Had some good spicy sausage in America. Not going in, but coming out. Ooh, definitely. Ooh. Ooh. 
Dark Souls. Misa Dark Souls Warrior. Okay, I need to figure out how I'm gonna do this. How am I doing this? Um, what are you trying to do? Still fight Moog. Can I summon? Uh, he costs exactly. I'm gonna give this a go with the shackle and see if I can do it. I probably like, should be able to do it with the shackle, but. If you shackle, hit him a few times, and as he like slams the ground to break it and walk back. Uh, if you just walk back and then when he's fully recovered, just slam him again. The Lord of Blood's Exaltation, blood loss in the vicinity increases attack power. Does that work if he bloods, bleeds me? Yeah, if if you bleed yourself, that increases it, because you can use Sepulchre to oh, give yourself the damage. Oh, of course you can. Boost. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, uh, how am I doing this? What am I doing? Let's see. I'm not going to do that. I'll do that instead. Uh, we'll do this. I'm gonna go through. We're gonna bring Oleg, the big leg man. And then we're gonna sippy cup. Oh, wow, me like almost one shot him. Lovely. Well, not quite, but here. Wow. And that was gonna do that. Oh, it doesn't shadow him too long. I didn't see what just happened. Oh! Oh, this makes it really easy. Oh, this shackle is just cheating. Have you never used the shackle on Mulder? No, Mulder? I haven't. No. Oh, maybe it's not. It's not working anymore. Oh, it's not working anymore. Does it only work like two times or something? No, it should keep working. Yeah, it's not working anymore. Unless it oh, changed how it works. Yeah, it only worked twice, and then it, I was doing it, but it was not doing anything. I know that when you when you fight the actual Moog and Margot, or Morgot, sorry, uh, you cannot use the shackles on them in phase two. It just doesn't work. No, you didn't get that low. <laughs> you definitely, he definitely wasn't that low. No, because that one's just an. Uh, that was just an illusion. Wood. That's not. That's not even real Moog, so it shouldn't not work. Because you can keep Shackle and Margot when you fight him in Stormvale. Get him as a distraction. Put that up. Number one, run in. Bam, 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 bam. Let's do it again. Oh, I'm in the blood loss. Let's see now. Third time. Yeah, I think it only works twice now. Hmm. Maybe I have to be closer? No? No, I, I'm so bad at rolling these slow attacks. Yeah, I think it only works twice now. Interesting. Oh, once more. We'll try once more, and then we'll go get good somewhere else. <clears throat> Until I catch up and can help you. Um, kind of, Danny, yes. So, yeah, as you can see, I can't summon it out here. There's, like, certain areas that you can and can't summon bring summons it's usually to do with the boss so it's like if you're in like a legacy dungeon and it's like a lead up to a boss uh you can often summon it for most of like the dungeon um in normal dungeons you can't and yeah in normal dungeons you can't Back slap. Pop this. Pop this. Oh! I forget the timing on that one. Oh, I 
have no FP. I have no FP because Oleg takes exactly the amount that I have. Yeah, you know it definitely any, only works twice now. Do you know of any blue flasks? No. I don't use blue flasks. Uh... Oh, so many chats came in, I missed it. Jarboy doing jar things. Yeah, Jarboy failing at jar things, Donnie. It's very much what today is going to be about. <laughs> That's why this true title is I need to get good. <laughs> I'm uh, not having a good time. Some ones are for boss fights. Some areas will learn too strong. Areas and areas with lots of enemies can be some of those. Yeah, that's that's it. Yeah, Ken's given a pretty good description there. I didn't mean what it is. that they're for that. It just that's where you can summon them. Yeah, that's where you and can. Dungeons, can. Like you said. So, my guess is there's a sacred tier up here. I will also visit there because I don't remember what's there. No, no, Jojo Binks. I need Jar Jar Winks. Cool. For those naughty boys. Uh, which way are we going? We gotta follow the path down to the left. Hey, it's a go. Oh, here, unequip it while I'm not fighting him. It's just gonna be in my way. Oh no. You get an AA tact. <laughs> what do you want to bake in? <laughs> Don't do it, I'm back in. Ah, I feel like I'm. No, I'm going the right way apparently. I just. I'm not seeing a very clear path. Oh, there's a church here. What's in this one? Nothing here. <clears throat> oh, except for something. What, what's going on here? Oh, hello. What the heck? What is this? Oh, hello. It's this lion thing. Take the hit on that one. Chat while I'm okay. There we go. Um, get, get over. Oh, it's a larva here. Nice. That's not what I was expecting to get from that. Okay. I see lightning over there. And that tells me goats. Wait, that's where I'm going. Uh-oh. This feels dangerous. The lightning strikes, there's plants in the lightning area. And those plants are used to craft, um... Ooh, uh, goats are here. Levers and pots. What is this? I don't remember this. I mean... It's two years ago, I don't remember very much. <laughs> Donnie, that's a great Twitch emote. Where did you find Shut. that? Oh, it's a black assassin knight. I hate these things. I hate these things. Nope. Is that the hand thing? Oh, it's not the hand thing. We're okay. We're all good, boys. No, we're not. We're no, no, we're not. No healing. Maybe this guy doesn't have the hand. I probably should have backstabbed him there if I can. Mm, no. That oh, was a heavy attack. I don't even know if I can backstab this guy. Uh, I think you can. Okay, 
Give me a second to heal. Let me heal. Guard actually. That just boosts damage negation. Yeah, it just boosts damage negation. This boy is a dodgy boy. Oh, the hand. He does have the hand. He just doesn't do it as frequently as the other one does. expecting to fight this guy here to be honest but I'm okay with that I like it <clears throat> what are you trying to get are you just trying to go at the church I don't know I'm just exploring I want to go into this building I don't remember what was in it I don't remember either and I pressed dodge it's too late he still got me dodge back heal nope No, bad time, bad timing, bad timing, bad timing. I don't know if I can backstep him. It's not letting me regen my stamina. Taking that hit, shouldn't have, shouldn't have done. Heal. No, bad times. Oh no, that was an attack time, not a dodge time. No, the hand. Not the hand. No, bad time. Yeah, we're good. Okay, get a couple hits in here. Three, four. The hand. Oh, I stunned him out of the hand. Stamina. Don't get greedy. Okay. Bad time to heal. One more hit. There we go. Oh, that was closer than it should have been. I started panicking and doing bad. Uh, oh, we got a sword. Cool. I don't, know. I don't know if I did this before. Black knife. Hand versus cookie jar. Exactly. <laughs> the tale is all this time. <laughs> there's um, there's a dungeon in Kaled with a black knife assassin in it. Oh, it's a dungeon. And the uh, the black knife assassin's constantly invisible. <laughs> when I went in there, I was like, I see the health bar, and I don't see the L. Oh, and I've been stabbed. <laughs> I, can't get I got stabbed like seven <laughs> times trying to fight it. I was like, oh. just stop moving. <laughs> Apparently, there's like a torch that you can hold that like reveals them. Uh, the invisible ones. And you can use it for the consecrated snowfield for getting into the Halig tree when you uh, when you fight the invisible boys there. Maybe ghost flame torch? I, I can't remember what it's called. Do I want to do this dungeon? Mm. We might do this dungeon a little bit later. I want to keep exploring the overworld. The overworld. Wow, Minecraft terms. Bom, 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 bom. Uh, I don't understand. Twitch is doing this again. It's saying I'm un my stream is unstable. Average stream bit rate is too high. The stream bit rate is two th 6,200 kilobits per second. However, Streamlabs says it's 1,500. And Xbox is set to 4,000, <laughs> so <laughs> nothing matches. That's quite strange. Oh, another graveyard. Some more grave robbing. Unless I get a tapped by um, electric sheep. Yeah, that was the other thing. I tried to stream from Streamlabs on my Xbox, and it didn't let me. It just kept saying, like, add this account to your profile to stream. 
Uh, you got to make sure your Twitch and uh, Streamlabs are connected because it connects to Streamlabs through Twitch. Xbox does. Yeah. I mean, that's um, how I set it need... all up. It's there's an there's an extra thing that you have to do to make sure that they're all connected because they don't connect automatically even when you link it. Uh, I had that the first time I went. I can't remember what it was though that you had to do. Oh wait, what? How's he hitting me? Hello. Okay. That's well, off. Not a big deal now anyway. So we can work it out if you want to try it again. Uh, I should probably, be able to help. I probably won't bother streaming anymore. Oh, I don't like the Kendo streams. I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. I'm being AA teched. I got surprise attacked. Get away from me with your lightning bottles. Here we go. We got him. We got him, boys. We got him. And the sacred tier. And there's not actually a bonfire up here, which I'm kind of surprised about. Now, I do know. There's another one up here in this church. But we gotta go through the madness place. I'm not a big fan of the madness place. Put the lime in the not, coconut. I do not want to go away. insane. Insane? Well, like crazy? I was crazy. Like madness was. insane. They locked me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room with rats. The rats would be crazy. <sighs> How am I meant to do this again? Is there a thing that like stops you from going mad or negates madness damage in this? Yeah. There do be. It's like this is like the avoid the eye of Sauron part. Basically, is what this is. Like, there's the eye of Sauron, and I need to make sure I'm not in view of it. So that I don't go crazy. Um, ooh, ooh, I can kind of ooh, okay, I'll avoid it. it regardless, so you kind of just need to. Fit. No, 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 you can, you can avoid it. Oh, interesting. I did it on my NG. I, I did it on my NG plus run. Uh, you you do have to go up and kill it though if you want to get to the rest of the plateau. But uh, yeah, which, no, I know. I usually once you get once you get it. to the tower though. For some reason, I don't think he can look backwards or something. Well, it's a group of guys at the top, and you have to kill them all really quickly, otherwise while you're up there, you get madness. Well, right now I'm in it, and I'm not getting madness. Once you attack one of them at the top, you will. Okay. The crazy rats are dead. Crazy rats. Now we're going up. The ladder. So yes, Danny, sorry to explain what's going on here. The little effect, the little bar that you see in the middle of my back right now that's just disappeared uh, is uh, a thing in the game. It's a build-up called Madness. Uh, when it fully builds up, uh, what happens to you, Ken, when Madness builds up? Um, it subtracts FP and it stumbles you to the ground. You kind of grab your face and start going... Oh. Yeah, okay. And then after you run out of yeah. FP, it starts draining health instead. Yeah, I'm having trouble this time. Yep, I just got madness. Here we go, boys. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. One, two, three, four. Okay, I got them all. They're all gone. All right, no saw. more madness. No more Eye of Sauron. Is it Sauron? Saruman? I can't. Oh, man. My sorry, I'm I'm very sorry. My it's the Sauron? Rings knowledge is it is Sauron, isn't it? The Eye of Sauron. Yeah, the Eye of Sauron. I, I I just wasn't. I it just there was a second of me going, wait, am I saying this wrong? Because I didn't read the Lord of the Rings books. I only know them from the games. The games? Wow, from the movies. I was, a, the, um, I was about to say. I was about to I, say. <laughs> I, I'm really I'm really butchering this. I'm yeah. sorry, Lord of the Rings fans here. I, I I am a Lord of the Rings fan. I love the movie, but. Uh, the movies. I said movie again. Oh, wow, I'm really butchering I, this I, You know what? Put the shovel um, there. Stop digging. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're gonna stop there. Lord of the Rings movies are epic. Best fancy movies of all time, but I'm... 
never know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about Lord of the Rings because I don't understand the full lore. In comparison, also Tolkien is a, an incredible writer. I I haven't even read the books, but I've just read excerpts and it's like poetry. It's so good. In comparison to Star Wars, like what would what would you say you like more? Because I see you as more of a Star Wars guy. I uh I ooh uh, I am more of a Star Wars guy. That is correct. Um. However, mm. yeah, no, I'm more of a Star Wars guy. I, 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 although I would say, oh no, he does madness. I didn't know that. Um, although I would, I would probably say though that um, the original. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna say a controversial. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I would say that objectively, I would say the Lord of the Rings trilogy is better than the original Star Wars trilogy. And but I will definitely go and watch A New Hope, Star Wars original 1977, uh, over a Lord of the Rings movie just because of how long the Lord of the Rings movie is. But it's just, it's a long tale of really awesome music and scenes and sword fights and really captivating characters and it's just... See, everything you've just said describes both of them to me. I mean, yeah, <laughs> Including in sword fairness. Fights. <laughs> in fairness, yeah. And replace the swords with lightsabers. But like, uh, I don't know. Light swords. Yeah, exactly. yeah, that's true. But like, I don't know. <laughs> I've I've always... Never really cared about Star Wars, and I've always loved Lord of the Ring Lord of the Wings, <laughs> Lord of the Rings. But just like you, I don't think because it's been that long since I've watched them, I do not think I could tell you much about them. In fact, I couldn't tell you anything really, other than they used to wrap the sandwiches or the bread up in leaves. I did. Um, I did see get to see the Return of the King extended edition in cinema this year, last year, within the last six to twelve months. Not within six months, but between six and twelve months ago, I saw Return of the King in uh, in cinema, and I had forgotten how epic it was. Like ten out of ten, so good, amazing. I wanted to go see they did all three of them return to the cinema uh they did um fellowship of the ring on the friday two towers on the saturday and return of the king on the sunday and i really wanted to go but it was just too expensive and it wasn't included in my uh my movie pass so i was like uh i really want to but it would be twenty dollars per ticket so that's sixty dollars and i was like uh I can't. I don't have the money. <laughs> oh man, I would. I would love to but send a cinema that. And marathon them. That would be so awesome. Yeah. There was actually a marathon one as well. All three of them in one day. Um. Uh, at a different cinema last year. That was over a year ago, I'd say now. That I saw that they were advertising that. Um. And I also really wanted to go that, but then was also again like, uh, money. <laughs> um. But they are they 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 are epic. I I think Star Wars has probably tainted itself with its newer stuff a lot more. Uh, I love. I mean, I saw um, the prequels when I was a kid, and I loved them then. I don't really like them now. Uh, well, no, I, I I I do I do I like I like Episode One. I don't watch Attack of the Clones enough to really have a, any opinion on it, except for that I don't think it's good. Um, <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, uh, I just I remember I remember enjoying it, but anything that I think and then I've seen it the one time that I've seen it as an adult, I went, oh yeah, this is not good, <laughs> and I haven't really watched it since. Um, <clears throat> Ah, uh, you see, the problem is, I don't think Star Wars is dead. I think Star Wars is just gonna... Like, as long as people keep buying the merch, even if they don't go see the stuff, it's still gonna make loads of money. Like, Force Awakens of the new trilogy is, like, one of the highest grossing movies of all time. 
Now the other two were nowhere near that because everyone was like, ah, this is not great. <laughs> um, uh, but I, I still think if they release another big Star Wars, another episode movie, it's still going to get a whole bunch of people to go see it and make a whole, a whole ton of money. And the merch is like... I mean, the merch is just making them a ton of money. Like, I will still, to this day, buy um, uh, a New Hope merch. <laughs> um, Star Wars merch. Um, but yeah, I, I, think, I think I enjoyed, to answer your question a little bit more, Ken, I think I enjoyed the sci-fi aspect of Star Wars more than the medieval side of Lord of the Rings. Which surprises me, because I usually like really like medieval stuff. Yeah, that's my that's my uh, Achilles heel with movies is like the fantasy and medieval sort of vibe, which is a miracle that I don't watch Game of Thrones for that reason. <laughs> yeah, uh, it is on my list, but it's just I know it's an absolute marathon of a of a watch to get through it, and I would want to watch it all in the one go too. That's that's very true, Danny. Um... There's still though the merch sales though for Star Wars are still one of the highest selling like merch IPs in existence unfortunately <laughs> even though they're way down they're still like way higher than so many other ones I'm always surprised that Hello Kitty is number three on the highest of merch sales I'm like I what I don't think I know yeah it, Hello Kitty it, it's because of, it's because of the Asian markets but uh, Hello Kitty is like the third okay. biggest IP in terms of merch sales it's like it's incredibly insane. That is so funny. Um, but uh, yeah, I uh, yeah, you're right about though with Disney though. I don't think we're gonna get. I don't know, Dave Filoni. I still have a little bit of faith in Dave Filoni, and now he's getting a bit more involved in stuff. Uh, although that rumor about uh, Dave Filoni considering doing um, Clone Wars as live action, I'm like, please don't do that. Like. Clone Wars is great. Don't don't ruin it by doing it again in live action. Like, please don't do that. <laughs> uh, as much as I love it, I don't want that. Some things just don't work. Filmed in live action, they need that like animated magic to to make it really pop. I, I, I don't I don't even think it's I don't even think it's that. It's more just we've had it. It's been done. There's no point doing it again. I think one of the way. biggest. I, uh, no, that's that's not true. Because sometimes some remakes are great, like The Thing. Uh, mm -hmm. Not the 2016, the original John Carpenter's The Thing is actually a remake, and I do think. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting into a. I'm getting into a. Uh, I'm getting into <laughs> a. Um, uh, a whole thing about remakes here, and I. Yeah. I'm. I'm not a fan of them, but sometimes they're great. Uh, so it's like, in general, I'd prefer to see new original stuff. I've seen all these memes about this power of many, but I actually have no idea. I, I, I'm, I, this is Acolyte, isn't it? Yeah, Acolyte. I do, I, I'm not even gonna... I, I haven't seen any of the new Disney shows, to be honest, actually, unfortunately. Oh, I, uh, where did I stop? I think I stopped after Obi-Wan. Disney Plus was trying to pitch um, the Acolyte to me nice. as a recommendation. Do you want to know what it recommended me after watching as a good follow-up watch? Uh, what did it recommend? It recommended the Acolyte after I watched 28 weeks later. Because it said it's a good follow-up movie. It's like, what? <laughs> Couldn't be any more different if they tried. <laughs> yeah, that's very different. Um, yeah. Oh god. That's another movie. Oh, like... I didn't know he was doing that. Oh, I'm gonna die here. Oh, I died like. Oh, how many times did I die to Mo and I didn't record them? Oh, uh... dear. I'm doing it again. Yeah, you're gonna need to vod that. Uh, I three? would. I'd say four. I think he did. I want to say four, but I could be. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd vod that. <laughs> Check out the vod. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add three for now. So don't want to overestimate. I'm gonna add three. For Moog. 
and then we're gonna figure out later. Uh, uh, I oh my goodness, I have to do this again. <laughs> I'm so bad. I need to pay more attention. Um, and then yeah, we'll figure out later how many more I need to do. How many more I need to add? Okay, let's have a look at this sainted hero's grave catacomb dungeon that I missed earlier. Yeah, uh, with like going back to move, I don't even like to move on. But I think Sorry. a lot. No, of the no, no, I don't want to move. Is, no, it's okay. <laughs> I think a lot of the problem is like nowadays studios are trying to be too, like unique and outstanding, and they're losing like why that why a movie or why a series or a game or whatever why something got the magic it did originally. Explain unique and outstanding. Explain why you think that. Well, I say they want to be unique and outstanding, but they also just want to be like modern in that sense i guess more than unique and outstanding and they want to appeal to what the modern times are kind of shifting towards and you know, for some things that's not bad it can be incorporated well you know like certain language and ways of talking and groups and agendas and shit like that but uh, just you know like with a sci-fi movie it's like, okay, we're really going to talk about steel swords. I'm not linking that as a comparison to anything, but it's like an unrelated thing. You got people fighting with space lasers, and we're talking about battling with gladiator swords and shields. It's like, if they tried to spin that into the story, that would be pointless. I think I've lost you, haven't I? Yeah, you've, yeah, you've lost me at this point there, sorry. It makes sense um, to me, but then things that make sense to me don't make sense. <laughs> so you're saying uh, yes, you want them to <clears throat> bring in swords, or no? No, no, no. That was just like a mute point. Uh, yeah, but Dune, yeah, Dune. Ah, good point, Dune. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> but it was, it was more an example, not like a literal thing. It's more like pushing agendas and stuff. And like trying to spin characters is like, uh, hey, they're righteous and woke, and it's not everything that's doing it. But you see it more in like TV series more than movies, and it's actually kind of worrying that things that we should get we're not gonna get because people are too focused on trying to make things work. Yeah. Like, if I'm watching a movie about a zombie apocalypse, I couldn't give a rat's ass at what color the main character is, or gender, or ethnicity. It does not matter. I want to see horror. Yeah. De definitely, I'm with that on no risk. I, I think if yeah, the character's well written I, enough, I guess it my thought matter. is they want things unique. They want things unique, but. They're not doing anything to make yeah, they're not willing anything to take anything unique. But they're not willing. It's like Danny's saying though. They're not willing to take a risk on like a concrete character over like a. All right, let's just appeal so that we don't get backlash from certain groups or, you know, people thinking that yeah. this is bad and that's. But it's like, come on now, just do the right pick. Um, like I'm not saying that a movie like. I don't know, like, what's a movie that, like, a male character's been replaced with a female character? Or a remake, or something. Just an example, you'll know more than I will. Um... Oh, we can remake, though. I should be able to- I should be able to think of this faster, but... What? Let me think. Oh, no, I just died. I mean, Star Wars is, like, I mean, they put Rey as the main character. Well, it's not really replaced, though. It's just... Or, like, lead yeah, the so was... change the series lead. Oh, actually, you know, a bit... Uh, uh, yeah, I guess Star Wars, kind of... Uh, I, I guess, um... <sighs> Rings of Power... Oh, no, again, it's a new character. Rings of Power with Gladriel, kind of... Um, I just died. I need to put a thing. Um, I'm trying to think where they've actually like replaced Doctor Who. I knew there you were going to go. say that. Flat out Doctor Who. <laughs> now, no. I 
That's one that I actually, funny enough, don't have a huge problem with. <laughs> um... Well, no, because, like, for the Doctor's character, like, if you've read any of the Doctor's books, like, I haven't, but I, I saw it online from a comic review, and at one point, uh, in, like, a comic spin-off series, the Doctor was reincarnated as a dog, and they can be reincarnated as different creatures throughout space. Um, oh yeah, no, like, like no, no, and, and that's what I'm saying. I kind of have no problem with that. The problem with that Doctor Who series was the writing was awful, which yep. I was really disappointed about because I actually enjoyed how Jodie Whittaker played it, um, and I think she's a great actress. I just think the writing was, yeah, absolutely abysmal. Um, like what what really grips a character for me, in, it's like in Doctor Who specifically, is definitely how. Um, how the, the actors portray their role um you know each doc each doctor is unique that's that's the main thing no what is good uh, no one doctor sorry. is a clone of another they're not a follow-up of any other and that's why like that that's why like you know peter capaldi is my favorite uh, just over time watching him over and over i've just been like wow amazing Danny, no. dro Danny dropped off in Capaldi. <laughs> I just read that. I also didn't. Oh, I don't get me wrong. Like Capaldi. Yeah, like I know people didn't like him. I I really loved his acting. Yeah, I liked his portrayal of the Doctor and how like better he gets and all the rest of it. I think it's really cool. But <laughs> I knew that Capaldi Capaldi's not for everyone. I think he's just not Doctor Who. <laughs> no? Is <laughs> is literally how far I go with it. He's too uh he's Scottish. too uh he's no, he's just too grumpy. He's too not the doctor. He's lost his lease on life and he I, I get what they're doing with him and they're like going through this stage of like he's gripping with his he's gripping with his age as a time lord and he's like a thousand years old and he's like coming to terms with how many lives he's lived and it's kind of that grumpier side of it, but that's just not what like any of the other Doctor Who's have been. Uh, Doctor Who for me is fun well, and adventure, and he was Matt not fun and he was not adventure. <laughs> Matt Smith's Doctor, he was kind of like, you know, I'm not. He was still fun and anything. adventure. Geronimo. He was. <laughs> I mean, yeah. But that's the thing. Like people hear Doctor Who, and it's literally, oh, Eccleston, Tennant, and. Smith, they're the boys, they're the guys, those are the doctors. And no get me wrong, love them. Fantastic. Matt Smith, oh, easily. I'm, I'm, or, uh, like, right yeah, next I, to... I, 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 br I bring the other 12 into it as well. I... See, I've never watched the other stuff. How many other... Ted Baker is just fantastic. So good. But that's what I mean. Like, every doctor is unique. And yeah, Doctor Who kind of moved into a more, like, drama focused thing with Capaldi where it's like the Doctor's kind of better and you know he's a lot more like you know there's so much bad happening and after all I've done for the universe and that's that's this whole thing he's, he's struggling with his own sense of justice which is why like after Clara he doesn't want to take anyone on he just wants to stick to himself yeah but in typical Doctor fashion he just can't help himself and he's like ah. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I think the writing for some of the episodes of Capaldi was decent. Um, I didn't hate him. Uh, I just didn't like uh, him as much I, as I the just, others. I just I, I just didn't enjoy it because I didn't think it was fun anymore. And, uh, and that's the whole thing about Doctor Who for me is the the fun and adventure and the this kind of yeah almost like childlike character almost even though he's nine hundred. Um, well, uh, by the end of Matt I, Smith, I didn't Capal sense that. Uh, like by the start of Capaldi, I think the Doctor is like twelve hundred years old. Yeah, he is. He's, he's, he's older than Something I'm saying. Because like he's nine hundred yeah. in, in Matt's, Matt's Doctor. Christopher Eccles. Oh, like never mind. The start then. of the new ones. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he starts off with being nine hundred something. I could be very wrong. I don't know my Doctor Who lore too well, but that was my understanding. This dungeon is enormous and keeps going in multiple directions. He's a fantastic grandfather figure. Uh, Capaldi's doctor or?
Uh, I, uh, but then I'm a weirdo who, um, prefers, uh, Ackliston over David Tennant, just simply because, not because it was the first one that I saw, but more so because, uh, oh my gosh, I keep getting grabbed by these guys, uh, more so because of, uh, just his, just, when he grabs Rose the first time and he's like, fantastic, and he just, off we go. I was like, that to me is just Doctor Who in a nutshell. It's like grabbing someone by the hand and just rushing them out onto a fun adventure. It's just like, I don't know, there's something about that that just gets me every time. Like, uh, every Doctor is unique in their own way. <laughs> like, I, I love I loved watching Eccleston when I was younger. Uh, I then loved watching Tennant. And I loved watching Matt. And it, before, before um, I couldn't see him. the end of Matt Smith, I actually stopped watching Doctor Who when I was a bit younger. Oh, no! Sorry, I just got killed by the stupidest thing ever. I couldn't see the enemy because it was behind the blade coming down. Oh, I just seen it. <laughs> oh, that's so stupid. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, this <laughs> dungeon is so long. Oh, it's so funny. Oh. Clip that. Let's see how clips work. Clip that. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> I don't know how clips work, but I'm gonna click it and I'm gonna see what happens. I pressed it. Best. Questioning. Uh, no. Best doctor. I think for for me, my favorite doctor. I I would probably say Tenet is the best actor. Um. Yeah, he also but, uh, the writing so, so. and. Eccleston is my is is my favorite. I've hit, I've hit, clipped that and it's just loading, so I don't really know what's happening. So, uh, how do you get to the mode sewers, by the way, in normal Leandell? Uh, you do what we did last time. You did it with me last time. Um, no, I I um I didn't have to because uh, I was in the capital of Ash. No, you, no, you did do it with me. Uh, we co-op souls. We co op uh going down there, and we got lost. Uh, it, it's the pipes. No, before the pipes, though. The, before the pipes. Um, you just jump off the edge. Should I go in a well? Uh, yeah, the well. Yes, yes, the well. Um, like my thing with Capaldi was like when he first appeared as the doctor, he was like. Kidneys! <laughs> I've got new kidneys! I don't like the colour. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, that that was just like, oh, he's lost his mind. And it was cool for that, because this is this is the Doctor's first, like, regeneration of a second Time Lord's life. Like, no other, like, this is a second spring of regeneration cycles, and Capaldi's the first to fire it off on all cylinders. And I mean, like, I, I'm never going to get upset when people say they didn't like him, because I know people didn't like him. I didn't like him, initially. I was like, ah, he's not that whimsical, like you said, he's not that whimsical and childish, you know, doctor that captivated us when we were younger. Oh, okay. Can't go here yet. Sorry, there's a lot of things going on right now. My concentration Sorry. levels have just gone up. Um... Uh... There in Pompeii. Ah, uh, they did. Not in Doctor Who, though. Um, uh, no, there they was. They had some like. They uh, had like some side comments. When he was when he was thinking about like why he regenerated into the face he regenerated into. He, re he thought back to uh, there's a scene of him thinking back to Pompeii and seeing that. Uh, him like Capaldi's face on the others, on the other doctor, oh. on the other, and the guy in Pompeii, and he was like, "Ah, this is." I can't remember what's said, but he, he, he harkens back to it, and he's like, ah, "It makes sense now." It's also, shadow version. Thank you for bumping me back over here. What hole do you drop down in the tunnels? Is it the first one? Ah, uh, the. No, the set, the the further away one, uh, from the bonfire. Oh, in wait, in the tunnel. Yeah, yeah, the further away from. Okay, where 
where is the thing that I can bring this guy to? Because he's going to have some good loot. Oh, what? Another one? What? Wait, what? What's going on here? Oh, oh I'm poisoned. Fantastic. Oh, I don't understand what's going on. I'm so dead here. I can't, I'm in a corner. I'm in a corner. I'm stuck in a corner. I'm fighting the camera. Ugh. Uh, no. So, the thing... Yeah, was James Bond replaced with a woman? No. Uh, t yes and no. So, the thing that came out when the new Bond came out, that was all the controversy, was... Um, there was a new 007. So spoilers, I guess. Let's go. Let let's go spoilers. So if you don't want to listen, don't listen for the next like two minutes. I'm not going to spoil the movie per se, but I'm going to explain the what what was going on there. <laughs> Basically, because Bond wasn't uh, uh, working at MI6 anymore, he's technically no longer a double O. So they reassigned his number 007 to someone else. Um, to, and to a woman. Uh, so 007 was a woman. But the character James Bond is still James Bond. And I don't think they're trying to do like a whole Jane Bond thing. Uh, and they have said that James Bond will return and that we're going to get more Bond. So I believe that means... That, oh my goodness, no, this thing followed me. Oh my goodness, go away, little imps. So fast. Um. So yeah, yeah. No, they, they they definitely did say that the next James Bond will be James Bond. Uh, oh no! Oh my goodness, these dungeons are driving me nuts. I don't remember any of the dungeons being this brutal, <laughs> and I did nearly all of them. <laughs> um. Oh, I just lost thirty thousand souls. I actually oh, couldn't stand up there. I, I was stuck lying on my <sighs> back and couldn't move, and I got damaged while in iframes. That's great. Well, um, yeah, no, they are. They have confirmed that that they're looking for a new Bond. Um, oh no, I can't because I'm in the thing. Uh, they have confirmed that they're looking for a new Bond, uh, and uh, from. Any reports that we've seen, it looks like it's a guy. Uh, someone turned down the role. They offered they offered Bond to someone, and they turned it down because uh, it would take like a six to ten year commitment or something. They're basically the person, whoever the next Bond is going to be. They're looking for like a really long time commitment from the actor, um, and whoever the actor that they asked to do it didn't want to do it because they didn't want to commit that much time. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, that was last that I heard from, pro like, reports from producers and stuff, um, about it, um, but it looked, the actor that they asked, it was a guy, I can't remember who. Um, yeah, I, I kind of, I actually like what they did with Craig and having it as one run of all the same, and then... Uh, I, I thought it brought up that interesting conversation. Um, did Idris Elba? I actually don't know, because I remember seeing reports of both. People saying that yes, he did got us, and people saying that he didn't. Uh, I actually don't know on that one. Uh, I would have to do some, do some searching to find out if that was the case or not, because I'm not sure on Idris Elba. I actually need to look up and see who it was that they asked recently. I feel like it was Tom Hiddleston, but I don't, oh, at the same time, I'm like, I don't think it was Tom Hiddleston. Tom Hiddleston would make a good Bond. Ah, uh, I don't know. No? I don't think I've seen him in enough things that are not Loki. And what I've hey. seen of him in Loki, I don't think he would make a good Bond. Kong Skull Island. Is he in that? Who's he in yeah. that? Oh man, I've taken that film out of my memory. <laughs> He's like the main researcher in that movie. Oh. 
Or he's like the ex-British uh, soldier that's called in to yeah, go. Yeah, I want to. I have. Up. I've had the night manager on my list for quite a while, actually. I would like to see that. I've heard good things. Actually, Danny, what did you think? Was amazing that. Okay. Uh, what did you think of the show in general? Oh my goodness! I just got grabbed. This dungeon is driving me nuts. I'm actually gonna have to go through this thing and kill everything one by one because it's not. I'm not having a good time here. I'm just running back. Actually, why am I running back? Because my souls are gone because I died a second time. I don't even know where I'm running to. Oh, that thing does. There's no light here. Am I on it? No, I'm not. Where's the thing there? Okay. Oh, I just ran through another one. Okay. And we're going up here. Yeah, it's seen limited series. Okay, it is good. Okay, yeah. No, it's it's been on my list for quite a while. Uh, the Night Manager. I just uh, haven't actually watched it yet. I actually think I might own it on DVD back home in Ireland. I think I bought it in like GameStop when GameStop was like going and getting rid of their DVDs or something. I think I have a copy of it. Why did it respawn when I came back here a second time? I also have not found the contraption to open the boss door yet, which is another problem. Okay, before I go and lure this guy down, I should kill everything else, because if I'm going to fight him, I don't have to fight like 10 other things at the same time. I was charging up a heavy attack. <laughs> yeah, Danny's mentioned them in chat. I, 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 is that, is that the guy? Is that the guy who was? No. Wait, what? Go on, let the oh, cog. Oh, that's why. Let the cogs they're, turn. They're the new Jenner, the the other gen. Uh, she's someone else now. <laughs> uh, who? I can't remember the name. Oh God, I can't even know. Is that the sports one? It's yeah, Bruce that's not was a, that's not a movie person. Bruce Jenner is a a half one winner? Gold medalist? Caitlyn Jenner, that's Caitlin, the that's one. It. Yeah. Um Nearly going to California. Really? Yeah. Oh dear, I haven't been paying attention to that. Um uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go there. I'm gonna say that's politics, and we're not gonna go there. That's a little bit more political. I'm okay with movies and actors, but I'm trying to avoid politics. I was, he was just cracking a joke about. Yeah, I know, I know what you mean, though. Yeah, <laughs> I know. No, I know the joke. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is this? Wait, I pulled this early. Oh no, this opened the door here. Um, I'm outside the Moog fight where you were struggling. Do you want a hand with it? Ah, no, I'm enjoying trying to level up. No, it's okay. It's okay, Danny. I, uh, I just, uh, yeah, that's kind of been a thing. Is like, unless I want to talk about politics, I'm gonna definitely avoid it, because <laughs> it could definitely get a little bit heated. Some people don't know how to have a civil conversation about politics. It's like, it's the worst because they just get really passionate and they think that their own life depends on like the conversation. <laughs> You're just not like, brother, we're just trying to talk here. It's a shame because it's funny to talk about with it. I'm getting magicked. I should I do an Ironheart series? Uh, yeah, I think I think there's an Iron. I think there's gonna be. Is that the? Oh. I keep getting grabbed. It's driving me nuts. Um, an Ironheart series. I think they tried. I can't remember if that's still in the works or if it's just. 
really bothers me. I actually can't me remember if that's still in the works. That they're not doing a follow-up series for the lad in the second Iron Man movie. Or the third one. Third I one. I can't remember who you're talking about. You know the little, the, lad. the little boy in the shed, and he helps Tony the mechanic. No? I don't remember that movie very well. I didn't enjoy the third one very much. Sorry. You are <laughs> just oh, you're you're a tough you're a tough cookie. You know, I'll give you that. <laughs> you're a harsh critic. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm uh, I'm with the majority on that one, Ken. Well, an Iron uh, Man three. Yeah, most people think Iron Man three is not great. Damn. I'm not most people. I, thought I do. I do, was good. I, 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 I do think the first Iron Man is 10 out of 10. It is still to this day one of my favorites. What against uh... of the Marvels in general, of Marvel movies in general? I do love the first Iron Man. Oh, the first one. They said the second. I think it just. I, I just think it has everything: um, action, comedy, romance, suspense, everything. Yeah. First, yeah. the first Iron Man movie definitely hits. It's pretty well. But I think it balances them very well, actually. It's, it's probably a better way to put this, is that I think it balances them all very well. Wait I, a second, where am I? I quite liked Captain America the First Avenger. Uh, I, yeah, no, no, I, I still think the first, yeah, I think, think eh. I do think the first Avenger, the ah, uh, wait, the first Captain America movie is really good. What's the first I do one also called? Think the first Captain America is really. Good. Yeah, the, the first, first Avenger. Avenger. Captain America, the first Avenger. What's yeah, the yeah. second one called? Winter Soldier. No, oh uh, yeah, it's Winter Soldier. I I was thinking and that. Civil War. Yeah. And everyone loves Civil War. My mar my controversial Marvel opinion is that I don't like Civil War. And I like Civil War. The <laughs> reason, the reason, this is my controversial. Marvel, uh, my controversial Marvel opinion though, uh, the reason I don't like Civil War is simply like, I, I wouldn't like Civil War in the comics either, even though apparently it's like one of the best comic runs. I haven't read any of the comics so I don't have a comic background, but people talk about it. I've seen it being talked about as a really great comic run. Uh, I don't like Civil War just simply from the fact of this superhero team that we're set up to idolize and love, fighting each other and solving their differences with violence is what I really hated. I was like, wow, great, Marvel is sending a wonderful message there. Um, that the best superheroes and our best heroes can solve an issue with speaking it out. They have to resort to violence, which is just a personal thing. Uh, I think it's, pro it's very well written. Uh, it adds a lot to the story. Uh, the whole thing with Cap and uh, Iron Man. Fantastic. I just didn't enjoy the movie at all because I kept thinking, wow, this is what we resorted to. <laughs> um, so it was really just a personal thing uh, that just made me not enjoy it. And it's actually, funny enough, one of my least favorite. <laughs> uh, even though I do think it's probably a good film. Probably a good film. Objectively, it's a good film. Uh, I just didn't oh, myself think it enjoy was... very much. I think it wasn't so many differences. Um, I think it more came down to like their political views, and that like that's yeah, that's their differences. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I gotta lure this guy the whole way back. I don't okay. know. I thought it was um, a good movie. Yeah, no, that's just uh, and that's and and I mean it's story-wise, narratively. That's a great thing to do. <laughs> like, get the world's greatest heroes and have them fight over political differences. Narratively, that's that's a very strong sense of, like, great story choice. Um, just personally, I was like, oh, these are the people that we're meant to idolize and love and think are fantastic, and they're resolving their differences through combat. And that just disappointed me, I guess. Uh... As I say, it's my uh, it's my contra it's my one uh, I mean, Marvel controversial opinion. I get what you're saying, but it's like okay, so what what leads 
to that confrontation between the groups. It's that one side will use one thing and one the other, and they don't want to fight one another. And that's very clear at the start of the the big battle scene, is that neither one wants to fight the other. Um, but they acknowledge that there isn't really much of a chance, because one half that pick one side are bound by law and have to apprehend them, but the other half believe strongly that there's... that, well, they know that there's something bigger going on and they have to stop it. Oh yeah, like 100%, um, 100 like it's, it's well think, crafted and how it gets there. I mean, and, and I think Civil War, as, as good as that film was, personally I think it does more of a job uh, as a setup movie for the future, like for the tail end of the MCU, as opposed to as, as like a substantial movie, if that makes sense. Like I know it's a critical point in the film and the plot point's like, oh look at this big divide, but still a big part of me is like, yes, but this is the reason why, you know, everything goes the way it does in Infinity War as opposed to them just standing together and all the rest of it. And that, that, that stain of the fight is very clear in Tony uh, when he says, like, you know, I was right, told you so. Oh, and I and it definitely makes like some of the really great story beats. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not Infinity disagreeing. War and Endgame with you. work your, all the better. No, I like. Well, it's your not. Your viewpoint's it's valid. Not, it's look. As I say, it's my controversial opinion. It, I I do think it's well written. I do think it's, uh, it's it's a good film. Personally, it's one of my least favorite. I just don't enjoy it. I don't. I don't like what they did. It's Fair. yeah. As I say, it's entirely my subjective view coming in here. It's my that's my controversial Marvel Marvel opinion. Sorry, Danny, you asked ages ago the best Marvel movie. Uh, I am on Endgame for that um, because I can because I put aside the annoying things that people get very frustrated by, uh, and I I love Endgame. Uh, I I I just love the fallout I guess of Infinity in of Infinity War. Um, and I've learned recently that I, I had thought for a while I was in a minority that most people thought Infinity, Infinity War was better than Endgame but the more I see audience scores and critic scores actually Endgame is slightly higher on all of those so I'm, I think it, it looks though 50-50 <sighs> yeah I prefer it to Infinity War uh, I prefer the arcs uh, I think uh, I think together they're the best but if you got to pick one and part of me as well is also a closed story i prefer an ending it's the reason i prefer a new hope over empire strikes back because it stands alone very strongly on its own now endgame doesn't stand really on its own because you have the events of infinity war but it ends it technically does stand well if you count the start yeah. of it as like a recap or like a, as a as a credits carry on i don't know how to describe it because like the events after infinity war they seem like something that could have been slapped on at the end of infinity war but then if it did it wouldn't have made sense because it's like the first five five minutes of the movie or like 10 15 it's them going to Titan and doing what they do. And then then there's the five year time skip, right? Yeah. And it's like, okay, so here's where the real like beginning is. And that feels, that to me feels like the proper start of that movie. Cause it's like, oh, so that's kind of like the events after the war, like as a, as a join up from the last movie to this one. And here's where the story is really continuing from. Mm. Not really a recap, more of a re Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Oh, it's great. Into, into I. I it. <laughs> like, I'm one of those people. Ragnarok was very good. And, like,. I did. I did uh, really enjoy Ragnarok. 
I don't think many people have the opinion that Ragnarok was bad. It had a good blend of action, character development, and comedy. It was it was very well done. And it's just a shame that Love and Thunder did not follow up on this. Because they overturned the um, comedy, lowered the character yeah, development. Yeah, Danny, I... Sorry to cut uh, you, Ken. Yeah, no, Danny, I know, I, I, know we, I, I know we butt heads on the endgame one. <laughs> Yeah, we, me, me and Daddy have had this argument about and gave it Infinity War before. Um, uh, yeah, I so it's. I really wanted to like Love and Thunder. I did too. But it's just, it's just. It yeah. is just. It was just okay. It's it's too Taika. It was just they, uh, okay. Let him off, they just, let him off the the reins a little bit too much. I will say, Guardians Three. Out of every movie that came out. After Endgame, did so well. well Amazing. You, for dead? Um, no you know, a lot of emotion, so great characters, <laughs> everything. Same for you, Danny. Yeah, no, Guardians 3, Guardians 3 and Spider-Man No Way Home yeah. are... Which was nice, because... Uh, my favourites. Because what hurt me the most was Multiverse and Madness. Oh, that movie should have been so much better than it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was really looking forward to that. Sam I Raimi, loved the Doctor Strange. And then Wanda. I, so I didn't love Doctor Strange. I like Doctor Strange. I think he's great. But I don't. I didn't love him. He wasn't like up there in my list of favorites. But uh, I, after WandaVision, Wanda was up there in my list of favorites very highly. Um, yeah, so, and then they just yeah. kind of like... <sighs> yeah. I'm very excited was... for Agatha. Even though the first trailer does not look great. <laughs> Oh, she's getting a movie? She's getting a TV series. Ooh. The trailer just came out, like, a week ago? Where does that slot into the MCU? Uh, like... it's... I actually don't know. The trailer looks like... Uh, the trailer kind of looks like she's back with no powers. That's about her getting her powers. But I had understood it was a prequel to WandaVision. Uh, so well, I'm really wanna, not sure. I want to say spoilers for the end of Multiverse of Madness. It's been out for a while now, right? Uh, it's it's out far enough. Spoilers for the end of Multiverse of Madness if you still care. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just oh, like, at it, the yeah. end of that movie when the uh, when the mausoleum collapses on Wanda, and it's like, mm. oh, she's dead. There is like a red light that beams from the rubble and takes off, and that's speculated to have been Wanda. And if what you're saying is her getting her powers back, maybe she cast a spell that, like, um, just saved her at the exchange of burning through her power. And then it's like, Who? okay, that's what? just bad. Yeah, and, not, and when Wanda gets crushed by the rubble... No, no, um, no, 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 but after that... There's, like, a red light that who, takes off from Who the saves collapse. who? No, 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 yeah, yeah, that's fine. No one saves who? What? No one saves anyone. Okay. I'm just speculating, like, maybe she cast a spell that, like... Gave her the strength to get out of there alive. Wanda. Oh, Wanda. Oh, okay. okay. Cross, maybe that's she sorry, cast that's a spell what confused me. Transport her away safely at the exchange of, like, burning through her power. But, you know, we'll have to wait for the series to to know if it's a prequel or a continuation or what. But, man, multiverse just No, sorry, I'm so confused as to say you're relating that. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm still confused as to how you're relating that back to Agatha, though. Well, you said it could be a prequel, but then it looks like it takes place... Of her regaining her power. Yeah, it kind of does look like so that's that. what I'm saying. Maybe in exchange for getting out safely from getting crushed, she's drained all of her power and is trying to get it back and go in the and redemption not path. Killed her? Yeah. Well, like I said, at the end of it, if you watch the 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 sequence, she gets crushed uh, and flies out. But that's There's like a red light of her flying away. Wait, in. In WandaVision? Multiverse. Yeah, this is where I, this is why I'm confused. I'm talking about Agatha, Ken. Yeah. Got, spoilers, got killed at the end of WandaVision. And is not in Multiverse of Madness. Who did? Agatha. Who's Agatha? The main villain in WandaVision. Oh, I thought that was Wanda you were talking about. And they just called it Agatha. <laughs> this is why I was confused. No, okay, this right. is why I was, I was confused. Because <laughs> <laughs> I haven't watched uh, WandaVision. 
Oh, well, sorry. <laughs> spoilers. Major spoilers. <laughs> okay, so now... Oh, I'm sorry. So... I'm sorry, Ken. I didn't know you hadn't seen it. I no, assumed I don't, because I don't you'd seen Multiverse of Madness. Because... Mate. Have an answer. Multiverse is the... <laughs> No, well, before it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I've watched... Uh, infinite number of universe, infinite number of bad wonders. True. Maybe one of them succeeded. True. Man, yeah, and actually, they haven't said if Agatha all along is going to be a... Um, they haven't said if it's in the same universe. It could be in a different universe as well. Uh, although I think it is the same Agatha. You haven't seen WandaVision, Ken? That's my favorite <laughs> no, of all the series. and I'm not, I'm not going but to either. But that's my favorite because I love sitcoms and it pays so much beautiful homage to you know them what? 80s, 90s sitcoms. Do you know what really but hurt actually me all sitcoms. more is what? I loved What If, I loved Loki Season 1, mm. <laughs> could not get I haven't seen Loki Season 2 yet. Couldn't get into oh, okay. it. I watched one episode of Loki Season, season two, 2 and yet. stopped. <sighs> it's just such a shame. It's just such a shame. <laughs> Why, like... They're just trying to... I, I don't know what it is. The writing just isn't there. The movies don't pace well. It just... They don't flow... As they should. Like, don't get me wrong, the, but again... Guardians 3... Uh, Loki Season 2, are you talking about? Like, the t any, no, talking anything about? after Endgame... It's like... They just... They, 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 everything's missing the mark. Except from Guardians 3 and Spider-Man. Those, those did really well. Um, I wouldn't say everything's missing the mark. I mean, Loki season one. Okay, well, everything uh, I've watched. Well, yeah, Loki season one uh, and one division. The what was if, also well what regarded. If one. What if actually I so I, I liked what if most. I, I think that's not a minority. Mm -mm. Um, they used to hire expensive directors. That's true. Yeah, see, that's what you get for cutting corners. You get crap movies. It's true. <laughs> like, although didn't well, although Multiverse of Madness was Sam Raimi, who's pretty well respected. Um, there's just parts of Multiverse that was like, if they made the movie, that's just my thing with Multiverse, right? If they made the movie like 20 minutes longer, they could have script wrote better sequences at a couple of points, and it would have added better depth for characters and setup. Because there was parts in yeah. that movie that felt like they just sprung things on in a rush because they were crunching the time. I, I I'm not going to say what in the movie, but there was a few reveals, a couple of major plot points, and a couple of them just kind of got dropped like it was nothing. At least in my opinion, there was no tension or build up for anything, and it mm. just kind of like happened. You're like, oh, that's underwhelming. I've heard or seen. Like, in comparison, for for anyone watching Elden Ring, it'd be like West right now walking into a boss room that's supposed to have a cutscene. It's like, oh, who's behind this door? And what's their, what's their, like, what are they going to say? Like, what's the reaction? And then it's a main boss, and there's no cutscene, no dialogue. You just fight. <laughs> it's like, here's this pinnacle moment, and there's nothing. Like, imagine you walked into Malekith's arena. And nothing happens. He just runs at you and the fight starts. No dialogue. Like, still a cool fight, but... <sighs> oh, it's just, it bugs okay. me. I'm taking on thing again. I've closed Elden Ring. I'm going to be going off soon, but I've just went on a rant with movies. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, we got into a, we got into a rabbit hole there. Um... I just wish they would stop cutting corners. They need to pack it in now. They need to lock in and produce something good. Anyway, I am going to shoot on, so I will talk okay. to you later. I'll let you get on. I will talk to you soon. Take care. Goodbye. Bye bye. Oh, I pressed the wrong thing. I'm not hitting him because there's a pillar in the way. Okay, let's do this. This mimic just died. 
Or is gonna die now. Bad time for this. Need to dodge that. I dodged the wrong way. Got blood loss because of it. No, I'm pressing the wrong button. No, I'm not pressing the wrong button. I'm pressing the right button. I'm just doing it wrong. Oh, perfect. Cool. That gives me time to do this. And this. And double press to get back to this. I'm going to push in. I dodged. Okay, need to get a little bit more stamina back. More stamina, more stamina, more stamina, more stamina, and let's go! Stop running away from me! Oh, he goes all around. Oh, I pressed dodge. Bad times to try and sippy cup, sippy cup, sippy cup, sippy cup. Okay, he's backing up, I back up. Ah, uh, bad time, bad time. Oh, that killed me. Oh, no. Oh, this is not going well. I'm just not doing enough damage to this thing. Like, not even getting... I haven't even got this guy to half. What on earth? Uh, no. I don't know what's going on here. Um... I, like, I don't want to change my build entirely. I want to, want to still be. Let me poke him. Hmm. Good sausage. Ah, multiple sausage A's. Plural. How many were there? That's the question. Fight people. Fight people. What's happening tomorrow? Well, you sleep well. Six sausages. Good number. I like that. Six. That is yummy. That is proper yummy. Ah, jujitsu. I was thinking. I was wondering. Well, have fun. I hope it goes well. And sleep well, my friend. And I will talk to you soon. I might, at some point. It would be. It would be so. It would be something I would try. It's not something that's off the cards. Where did I want to go? Oh yeah, back to the, the round table hold. Love you lots, bro. Talk to you soon. Talk to you soon. Let's see. I don't even know if this will be enough. I always get confused about where I uh, spawn in when I come to the round table. Oh, 50 soon. Well, no, no, no. Not you. Not you. <laughs> I like that. I can just like walk away. Uh, actually, do I even have enough? I am here for spirit tuning. I do. Uh, let's uh, upgrade my boy. My mimic. And cheese this. Six, five, four, three, and two. Okay, so I can get him to plus six. If I have enough runes. So let's do that. Because this fight is just exhausting me. And I just want the thing behind the door. I want the... Uh, Oh, I was meant to hit two. I wish there was a faster way of using these. I still think, I know they added, I know when it first came out, they didn't have to like use multiple, but I still think they could do with having more. Oh, this is really expensive to level this guy up. Okay. 
I'm gonna need lots more. Yeah, I know we didn't have the select number at the start, so it's great that they added that, but I feel like you shouldn't have to come out of the menu. You should be able to just, like, stay in the menu to use them. I don't know why they're not letting us do that. I'm here for spirit, too. Wow, I still need more. Wow, okay, 8,000. I need 600 more. We'll use three of the little ones. Okay, here we go. Greeting, you here for spirit? I am here for spirit tune. Thank you. Okay, there we go. I wonder if I can get plus seven glove wart. Ghost glove wart. I wonder where. Let's see, like, how strong that's actually made the mimic now. But putting him up to plus six. He died in, like, what, like three or four hits last time? So let's see what this... What kind of a difference this has made. Let's go. This run is also really long. Like, I mean, the level design is cool and all, but it's like, I wouldn't mind just, like, spawning right down here at the bottom. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I have that ready there. Uh, I'm going to do this before I get in. And then we're going to go through, and then hold Y, which is what I didn't do last time. Do that, and then Sippy Cup, and then Wondrous Physic, and then I'm going to start with a Shackle. So we get a good few hits on the start. Okay, he's got a lot more health now. Oh, we'll get out of it. No, oh, he's gonna die here. The end. Now he's dead. Yeah, we did. I don't understand how that's not. I'm not like dodging. I must, I must have to leave it later. There's that, I do this. Roll, 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 sippy cup, nope. Roll, roll, no, I can't see, because I'm in here. Well, it helped. And the shackle helped. Mm. I still feel like I need to do way more damage. I still feel like I'm just not doing enough damage. That's that that's my biggest issue, ultimately. Is that I feel like I'm doing like I'm just like really doing no damage. And it's probably because he doesn't take blood loss build up. He doesn't bleed. And it's probably because he doesn't Scarlet Rot. So yeah, I haven't Scarlet Rot him yet, which means he also probably doesn't Scarlet Rot. So the two things that I have, he seems to be immune to. Uh, which, yeah, it doesn't help. <laughs> um, I wonder if I just use a different weapon. I don't even know what I'd use, though. I haven't leveled anything else up. <laughs> mm, yeah, I don't think it's worth swapping weapon at this point. Maybe if I go into... Mount Top of the Giants... What, what, what am I going to get in Mount Top of the Giants, though, that's going to level me up more? Stones! Kidney stones! Um, I'm going to get more of the, uh, more of the smithing stones, maybe. Mountain Top of the Giants. Where am I going to go, though, in the Mountain Top of the Giants? Like, what am I actually going to do here? <laughs> I 
Um, should I just progress? I should probably just progress, man, to have the giants just run through it, get to fire giant. Although I didn't really want to do fire giant yet, but maybe I should. Maybe I should. Oh, although, there's definitely like one part in my top of the giants that I remember really hating. Oh no, I think I've passed it already. Maybe I haven't. We'll see. I also don't really remember where to go, so I'm just gonna kind of... Explore! Ooh. Yes. This is the bit that I really hated. <laughs> yes. At least I one shot backstab these ladies. Does that activate her right away? It does. That's okay, that's okay though. Get her in four, nice and easy. Uh, might use him if I need to. Okay, let's see who else is down here now. We got another one there, which I feel like if I go to her, that'll probably activate. The main one. It's that lady with the big pot in her head. That. I'm very bad at fighting. Oh, no, 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 no. And that's activated the pot lady. And it's activated her. It's not a one. Oh, that gets me through the, through the ground. Oh, I'm not blocking. Second hit and a third hit, maybe? No. Estus. Really? Okay, I'm gonna do this to avoid. I did better than I did on my big bonk. <laughs> Usually when I do this on big bonk, I have a horrible time with her. This shield has very much helped. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Yep, I was going to say they're all going to wake up now, aren't they? Yep. Poke. Let me poke them. And Briars of Punishment. Okay, uh, so I don't really need the scarab that was up there, which is nice. Okay, now this is fun, dangerous times. This is also quite epic. One of my favorite things. Uh, oh, I just realized that I hit clip that ages ago for the clip of something. Can't even remember what it was. And I hit clip that. And it's still loading. The clip that button, still loading. Is he gonna shoot at me? Because I think I take cover here, do I? Yeah, we're gonna take cover. This is a big hit. I'm gonna move up to here. He's gonna do another big hit. Is he? Can he hit me from there? Hopefully not. He didn't really know where I was. I should be able to make it. Maybe not into cover so he can't hit me. Yeah, perfect. Nice. Let's go up and tickle his feet. Three. And 
then I come in and give him a few tickles. I'm surprised he hasn't stunned him yet. Back enough far away, he's gonna do the bow. And when he does the bow, you know, it's useless to me. There we go. We knocked him over. Got him in his Achilles heel. I can't get in. I can't get in. No! Is it my way? Are you serious? Do the bow again, please, sir. Please and thank you. Thank you very much. Oh. Wow, I had to do that without critting him. <laughs> that was miserable. Okay. There's a little path down here, which I don't know if there's an item down here, so I just want to double check if I missed anything. We'll go have a little peepsies. Yep, here's a couple items. There's one. To ah, they're giving you rainbow stones. Nice in advance of uh, in advance of the invisible the invisible walkway. I like that a lot, actually. <laughs> I like that they're doing that. I thought there was a bonfire up here somewhere. Maybe not. I honestly thought there was a bonfire up here. We got him. <sighs> you know, it'd be great if I was using a somber weapon, because I feel like I would be plus plus ten with a somber weapon, but I'm still struggling to get to plus twenty five with this. And I even think, to be honest, going up to 25, I don't think it's going to help my damage against that mode that much more than it currently is. I think I probably just need to put more points in decks. Ah, here we go. Here's the bonfire. Here's the Sight of Grace. The SOG. The SOG. To go. Although, where am I going? Maybe I will go across and get up there that way. Yeah, maybe I will. I am going to go up to. Demi even. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up and grab... Oh. Uh, as I learned, I thought 12 was the maximum amount of flasks. Turns out it's 14. So I do still need some golden seeds. So if we see him, I will grab him. I kind of thought I was done with golden seeds, to be honest. Because I thought it was 12 plus 12, but it's 14 plus 12. And I always thought it was 12 plus 12 in my head because uh, on my previous character I was doing like an int sword build. So I would always have two flasks in, and I never needed two flasks in the blue, whatever the blue one, the blue flask is to raise your FP. I always had two flasks in that, and I never needed two. I also only ever needed one with the build that I was on, but... Um, because I had two in that, I always just thought it was 12, because I always had 12 health. <laughs> Which is a bit silly, but anyway. Actually, let's see what it's called. Oh, they don't give him a name here. Um, I need five. How many do I have? Uh, ooh, which means I need ten in total to get the maximum. I didn't think I would need ten. That's a lot. Mm. I have 
three. So I need two more to level up again. Cool beans. And actually, now that we've got a Dragon Crest Shield, we're going to do that. Because that will help us take less damage. So, we're going to do that. Actually, yeah, we're going to go get the map fragment. Which, I know there's a boss out there in that field. And I don't know what it is, and I don't think I'm ready to fight it. <laughs> so we're going to leave it there. And we're going to go up this way. And we're going to sneak our way across the hidden platform. Which, I still love these hidden bridges. things. Maybe. There's little things like this are just fun, I think, in Elden Ring. And the Dark Souls games in general. Oh, I need to get rid of those guys up there, though, because they'll be shooting me while I'm trying to figure out where I'm going. Okay. Feels a bit crazy to do this, but we're going to do it. Okay, now. Somewhere, there's a left turn. And usually, there's like a little bit of a glowing light that helps you see it. Is that it? Is that what I'm looking for? Okay, well, let's use the one... Oh, they gave me four. Okay. Nope. Well, it's not there. Try message. Is it here? I need get... to get four uses. Nope, it's not there either. Wow, okay. Is it this... Ah, there. There. Like, I'm looking at it. I can see the little glowy bit just above my head there. About halfway between my head and the, the compass. I can see the glowy thing. There we go. We found it. Okay. And then you go up to here. And then you follow the glowy. Yeah, there we go. We got it. We got it. We're up. Honestly, thought they were gonna kill me there. I was a little bit terrified. Oh, I hear a soldier coming up the stairs. What kind of what kind of night is it? I hear armor clanking everywhere. Slightly terrifying. This one goes up, doesn't? It? Oh, it's very slow. Oh, not up here. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, come on. I hate that they're attacked with so much stagger. Or not stagger, but like, it just ruins my uh, stamina blocking those guys. They just... Oh, I hate that he's sitting up there. Oh, and we're all the way down here. What's even up there? I, I'm potentially wasting my time. I'm most likely wasting my time. Those things are called rises, and they are usually for like sorceries and magic stuff. So I'm probably wasting my time going to the top. Oh, don't fall. Really? I can't jump up one of these bits to avoid the archers. Okay. 
Oh, and all the notes are gone now. That's a bit. That's a bit edgy. Where does this guy go? Oh. Yeah. I would not recommend being on a horse here. Um. I was right, it was directly on my right. Oh! It was directly on my right. Oh! I hate dying to stuff like this. It's like such stupid things that I'm like, I shouldn't die to that. I know where I'm going and I know what I'm doing. Oh dear. It's amazing. I'm actually finding the base game like much harder than the DLC. So if I was there, that means it's here. Yeah, I'm actually finding the base game, going back to the base game, much harder than the DLC, funny enough. I actually had a much better time with the DLC than I did in this. Oh no, and that's going to be gone. Oh, oh, I hate when this happens. Stay off it. Yeah, that's it. You stay down there. Okay, we're going to avoid this guy this time. Or we're not, or we're not, we're just gonna run around him. So I wanna know what's at the top. A chest. Is this gonna teleport me somewhere? It's not. But it's gonna give me some. A sorcery. Exactly what I said. Okay, I'm gonna leave you to your business, and I'm gonna go down this way, and I'm gonna go back down. Because I was more worried about falling off there. I forgot that he has an attack that can just drain all of my stamina basically instantaneously. My blocking stamina, my guard. Oh no, no, stop it, stop it, stop it. Is there a bonfire out here? There's not. I thought there was a bonfire out here. I thought there was a sight of grace. There is not. Where is the nearest sight of grace? Look at them balloon guys getting parachuted in. It's like special ops in Call of Duty or something. Okay. I'm pretty sure there was a sight of grace before reaching this. Oh, there's one. Okay. This is not where I was expecting the side of grace to be. I'll be completely honest. Hmm. Here. This is not where I thought it was going to be. Because I'm going to have a quick explore this way. Butterflies. Jail there. I'm sure there's something down this way that I want. Oh. If I can avoid the doggos, the runes will be useful. It's a seven. It's a seven. There was a ten there in that. Oh, no. okay. Nice. Okay, got a whole bunch of nice little things there. Useful, useful. Jellyfish. 
Oh, an item over here. Oh, somber miners, bell bearing. Oh, why do I keep getting the somber ones? Why is it so much easier to get somber than it is to get uh, normal smithing stones? I want to say good lovely. Cool. Cool, we plus 11. Sweet, lovely. Talk to Melina. Where is she? Hello. Speak to me. Spoken echoes of Queen Marika linger here as well. Shall I share them? Oh, do they? Sure. In I'm interested. Words, oh, this is this thing. Brave warriors. Hark, my Lord Godfrey. We guidance hath delivered ye. Put the giants to the sword and let a new epoch begin. Brandish the Elden Ring. Nice. Oh, she has more to say. She has many things to say this time. I'm glad it was you I traveled with. I must tender my thanks to Torrent. Thank you. Torrent, please continue to lend your aid. Okay, interesting. She's there thanking Torrent. Um, I think I will get the map fragment, and then I'll call it there. That shouldn't take more than ten minutes. Because we're not going to do the giant the fire giant today, even though that is our next time that we get to spend time with Alexander. Our, our, our main man, Alexander. What a champ. That will be our next time that we get to spend with him, but we won't. We're not going to do that this time. Uh, we're just going to get this map fragment so that we can see this whole area. And we might do some exploring in the new area. Have I gone past it? No, I haven't. Oh, there it is over there. Oh, it's next to a bonfire. You know, look. That is, that's pretty, that's pretty nicely timed. Our poor lad might be a bit chilly up here. It's a little bit chilly. It's a wee bit chilly and he's not wearing very much. And time of the Giant's East. There we go. The lead up to the fire giant. Lovely. Cool. Yeah, I am going to call it there. So, thank you everyone for joining the stream. Thank you for anyone who left a, a lurk or was following along. Um, we didn't get any followers today, that's okay. We actually lost a follower, but it's okay. Because it was the bot who was trying to promote stuff. Promote getting stuff, so I'm totally okay with that. I was kind of surprised that unfollow didn't come earlier. Uh, but, uh, yes, uh, thank you everyone for being here, for Danny, for Kendo, for chatting, for uh, Ruben was lurking, uh, and anyone else that was here who didn't speak in chat. It's great to have you stop by. Uh, we'll stream again later in the week, I'm sure. I have not decided when. It will all depend on whether I'm working or not. So, yeah, I will chat to you all again soon. There's Ruben is joining the party just as I'm finishing. Uh, and I need to figure out how many deaths to add to the counter. So, yeah, thanks for following along, and we will talk to you soon.